Hi, I'm Tom Jones from the St. Petersburg Times, and I'm joined by Times NFL writer Stephen Holder. The NFL draft will hold its second and third rounds tonight, and Stephen, after the Bucks made their first pick, the third overall pick uh, in the first round yesterday, what are we looking for now from the Bucks as they go on uh, with the second and third round picks? Well, I'd be very surprised if we don't see them draft a, a receiver tonight. Uh, and a defensive end, I think, is another strong possibility. And there are some good options left. Because you saw guys like Tim Tebow and, and guys like that jump up into the first round, I think there are some guys who got pushed down a little bit, uh, and there are going to be some options for them. How much do, do the Bucks have to look at, at needs compared to best player available? How much does that all play into all this? Well, I've had that conversation with Mark Dominic, the general manager, and he says, look, Everybody says they draft the best player available, but it's not really true. And it really, you blend the two options is what you try to do ultimately. You try to find the best player at a position that you need. And frankly, when you get into the later rounds or anything beyond the first round, that becomes even more important, I think. So I, I think that, and with this draft, the depth of this draft, they can do that. Now, a lot of receivers still left on the board. Anybody out there that you're looking at particularly or somebody the Bucks might be interested in? Well, there are two guys who I think uh, come to mind. Uh, Aurelius Ben out of Illinois is still available. He's a 6'2", 220-pound guy, big target, gets down the field, physical guy. And Golden Tate out of Notre Dame is still available, really short-handed guy who can make plays in the open field. Uh, so those are two options I think uh, they're looking at. The St. Louis Rams, however, picking first tonight are also looking at receiver as a possibility. So I think that's something to watch. All right. That's Stephen Holder, Times NFL writer. Be sure to follow the NFL draft with Stephen and also Rick Straub right here on TampaBay.com.